congratulations, you guys. The movie's amazing. I love the show. How much pressure did you feel adapting this to the screen? Yeah, there was a level of responsibility to sort of try to get it right, or to get it good at least. Um, but I think we were definitely in the right hands with Mr. Eastwood, yeah. just Im implicitly trusting him. <laughs> I certainly felt an obligation to make sure that um, for, the, for the fans who love Jersey Boys so much, I had hoped that you know their favorite scenes were going to be mm -hmm. in the film because as much as we're in Jersey Boys, we're also huge fans yeah. of Jersey Boys. You know, uh, it 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 just works so well on paper that um, we're so glad that we got to keep the script from the show for the movie. Right, and these lines and these roles are so much in your blood having done the show before. What kind of changes did you have to make in your characters for the big screen and those close-ups? More makeup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, I think finding the vibe between the four guys was key and such an important part of the beginning few steps. I mean, uh, I, I think those relationships are at the heart of the film and if, if we don't have a good connection, which you have to learn sort of on the fly and you know, yeah. we didn't have a whole bunch of time to, to get to know each other before. But did you feel like you had to like dial it back a little bit because obviously yes. performing on the stage. And yeah, the camera's well, yes, right it's here. Because, right, it's because that, you know, right now I'm sitting very close to you, but if you were hun hundreds of feet away from me in the balcony, I'd have to be talking to you like this just so you could hear me and get a sense, you know. On screen, that's gonna not gonna ruin it. So, um, you know, if, if in in this the scenario of the scene, you're as close to this person as I am to you, that's the scale it has to be because the camera is right there, and that was just the main technical difference for us. Was really just uh, because the cameras were so close, uh, being able to just live and breathe as we would, as we are right now in this room with you. singing live or lip syncing? I live. live. Really? Because Clint was so adamant about capturing live rock and roll, warts and all. Um, well, because they made a really big deal when Les Mis was made into a movie, how that was all recorded live for the film. We're not trying to market this show, and uh, this movie, I should say, in any way by singing, you know, featuring all live singing. You know, they hired us because that's what we do. Yeah, also, like, how that's not a big deal, live singing. <laughs> well, what would you expect when you've got guys who've done it 1,500 times on stage? It's true, and you know, it's interesting because a lot of the times Broadway to big screen adaptations get criticized when they cast big, bankable box office stars. But here you guys got around that by casting really great Broadway talent, so... Who are not bankable at all. <laughs> <laughs> Clint Eastwood not yet. is the bankable. Not yet. <laughs> right. But think about how much easier it is for an audience to believe us as our characters because they haven't seen us in a superhero outfit in a franchise movie, right. or because they haven't seen us in a sitcom for 10 years. This is our first time out in a major motion picture, and for the audience, we're unfamiliar to them. Very easy to believe that this is Nick Massey and Bob Gaudio and Frankie Valli. Who loves you pretty baby? Who's gonna help you through the night? Everybody's been asking you as you're doing press for this movie to sing a little bit. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, we don't nice. have our fourth guy. But I won't stop you. I won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> we wish we could. We, we, you know, every time we go, but it just, it doesn't sound right. We're, we're missing Vincent Piazza. We He's are. busy being on HBO. Just really quickly, JLY won the Tony. Oscar potential here. You feeling it at all? Did you feel it when you were making it? Uh, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no. You each no. have moments, I'll by the way. That I'll are... tell you, I'll tell you this. I don't know how the Oscars work. I just have never done a studio film before. Wouldn't that be nice if there were Oscar buzz? Like, that would be icing on the cake. But. But come on, think about this. A New York actor from the stage uh, originates a Broadway role. Very seldom does he get to go and recreate it on film, okay? So first of all, that's an amazing feeling. Then, a New York actor, period, finds himself on a Hollywood soundstage playing a lead role for a storied film studio like Warner Brothers and your director is Clint Eastwood. Yeah. I don't need any awards buzz to be happy, although it would be nice. I, am, I was so happy to be on that set, so relieved that I got to play the part and didn't have to deal with the uncomfortable feeling of, having, of watching someone else take a part that I had originated, I was in the original cast recording, and then take that forward in such a permanent way. I got to do it, so Brilliant. I was very happy. Thank you so much. Thank Amazing. you, appreciate it. Thank you.